Hey everybody, today I'm going to change the valve cover on this Volvo, which is here. And also, if you do that, you will need a new copper injector seals and the rubber O-rings for them as well, which are here. You will need four of these ones. The reason I'm changing the valve cover on this Volvo, because it has bad PCV valve. So how do I know it? Let me show you. Also, I need to mention that the car was here before. I already done the valve cover gasket, but I took the accountability because then I realized that I fixed the problem but I didn't fix the root of it by just changing the valve cover gasket because the PCV system is integrated into the valve cover itself and that has gone bad so let me show you how to how you can check whether your one is good or bad what what to look for and how it is done so without further ado let's jump into it here is how to check your PCV system which is located here and it is integrated into the valve cover so have the engine running remove the oil filter cap you can put your hand over it and if you feel a constant positive pressure that means the PC valve somewhere stuck or I will show you another method as well how you can check it the other method is if you open the oil filler cap and then before you start up the car you place a lovely pink rubber glow onto the oil filler neck it doesn't have to be pink obviously so you place it around you hold it there and if the pressure from the engine from the pcv <coughs> uh, will inflate the rubber glow that means that your pcv system is bad and it needs replacement unfortunately you can do it only by changing the whole valve cover so let me show you how to do it or how to check it so i have the rubber glow around the oil filler neck and someone's gonna start up the car and you will see that it will inflate the rubber glow itself So first we need to remove this intake pipe, it is attached to the positions here, here, further down there is a clamp as well so i'm gonna undo the clamps these are size 7 heck sockets for the other one i need a spanner because there isn't too much space there and it's very tight so i need to do it with the spanner and the last is the clamp on this plastic hose but be very careful with the plastic hose because it is very brittle so you can easily break it So now that the big intake pipe is out of the way, we just need to remove a couple pipes as well for fuel lines, the fuel rail, disconnect a couple connectors and move them out of the way, then remove the injectors one by one and then finally we can pull the valve cover itself, so it's not that difficult job. So disconnect this connector, press on the tab at the end and then pull it just like that. We can remove these fuel lines, I'm gonna undo this bolt as well so that I can move this one freely so I will have more space when removing the valve cover. I think it is a T. 30 torx bolt yes it was a t30 torx bolt so undo the screw let me put back the bolt where it came from so that way i don't forget where it was it's enough so now i'm gonna remove these two plastic tabs which are holding this cable in its position i'm gonna use a plastic trim primer tool yeah just like that remove the other one as well yeah it's removed so now I'm gonna remove this connector, you squeeze the tabs on the top and bottom as well at the same time and then pull off the connector just like that and this one is out of the way as well now we need to remove the fuel lines first undo this bolt, it is a T30 torx bit and now you can undo the fuel line from the fuel pressure pump to the common rail so have a rack prepared underneath that fuel line so if any spills it will catch use a size 17 hex spanner the other end needs a size 17 spanner as well and you can pull off the fuel line So I'm not gonna remove the fuel lines from the injectors but you need to make sure that you mark them here you can see the marking so that means this is the first injector second third and fourth that way you don't forget where they belong it is very important and it will make your life a lot more easier when you are going to reassemble the things so let me remove them i think they are size 17 as well but let me double check yes size 17 
for these ones you cannot use a spanner but Volvo makes a special tools for them but you can just use a regular crow food spanner end and an attachment to it I'll show you either use this kind of crow food which goes around it and then you put the extension and the ratchet or you can this kind of tool for that I think this is the Volvo origin one that goes over the line and then you just use the ratchet and then undo it that way I think I'm gonna use this one because this one seems more convenient the last time I did it with this one so you can find it on the other video if you want but I haven't done with this one so I'm gonna use this one so this is a size 17 hex as well And now I just need to remove the, the lines itself as well. So my lines are already marked. I don't need to mark them again. So I just remove them. In the next step, I'm going to remove the fuel rail itself. It is held by two bolts. They are size 10 hex bolts. And also here you have the fuel line coming to the common rail as well. It has two taps, one from this side and other one on the opposite. Basically, you just push it together and then pull off the fuel line, just like this. And then you can undo the bolt. Now that the bolts are loose, you can remove the common rail, just pull it. Then we can remove these injector connectors. There are four of them. How you do it, you basically just push on this tab, as you can see, and then you pull this one, the lever or whatever it is, and it pushes itself out and you can just remove it. It's very easy. I'm gonna show you all four. Now we can remove the connectors for the solenoids, there are two of them, and then we are gonna remove the solenoid from the bracket because the bracket is the part of the valve cover itself. So you don't even need to disconnect the solenoids, you can pull it out as one piece, just push this tab aside and pull it and remove it from its place. You can repeat this step with the second one as well. Now you can disconnect the camshaft speed sensor, push down this little tab and then pull the connector off and this vacuum line is free now. Okay, we are going to remove the sensor as well so that we can free this other line and move these completely out of the way. I'm gonna use a T30 Torx bit for the camshaft speed sensor bolt as well. Remove the sensor. Now we need to remove these fuel return lines from the injectors. As you can see, there is that metal clip. I think you need to pull on them, but let me try. So these are out of the way as well. And lastly, you can remove the injectors itself. First, you need to undo these brackets, which are holding the injectors into their place inside the valve cover. I think they are size 40 T Torx bit. So let me undo them. But before you're going to remove the injectors, make sure you clean the valve cover. Nothing can fall into the place where the injector goes. You can also use an air blow gun to make sure it's super clean. And then you can remove the injectors. So as I said before, use a T40 Torx bit in order to remove that injector holder. You need to remove them one by one. So you can use a blow gun and a rug over it and then pressure out all the liquid or all the fluid, whatever is down there. So nothing goes down the injector hole. So make sure before you remove the injectors that you mark them as well, one by one. So in that way you don't forget where they came from. And also for the removal, I'm gonna use a special tool, but not that special, it is a slide hammer, but I'm gonna use this correct adapter. So just thread the adapter onto the head of the end injector and then thread the slide hammer on it, slide hammer it out. I see some people prying on it or hitting with the, the hammer on the side so they turn or twist the injector and that way they pull it out but it's not the best way in my opinion and voila it is out 
so basically the procedure is the same for the rest as well i'm gonna do that but more likely off the camera 